Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. As the U.S. Defense Secretary meets with NATO allies in Germany to talk about Ukraine, a chilling message from Russia's foreign minister saying there is a real risk of nuclear war and that it cannot be underestimated. It's dangerous and any kind of uh, rhetoric like that, you know, it, I, I think is unhelpful in a nuclear war. Uh, cannot be won by either side. The brothers arrested in connection to the deadly K Street shootout faced a judge today. Dundre and Smiley Martin both face weapons charges. Their hearing was continued until May 27. One man is in custody after surrendering early this morning following a nearly 18-hour standoff. 48-year-old Eric Menares gave himself up around 3 a.m. The hostage inside the home was not hurt. The family of 23-year-old Blair Mosley Burnett confirmed to ABC 10 that Brunette was killed after a car hit her while she was walking on I-5 near Florin Road Sunday morning. The driver did stay at the scene of the accident and alcohol is not a factor in the crash. A three-month-old baby is home safe and three people are in custody in connection to his kidnapping Monday in San Jose. The baby was taken from the apartment while his grandmother unloaded groceries. He was not hurt. A former American River College student now barred from any Los Rios campus. A judge granted a permanent restraining order against Jamie Barnes. She's the woman who made angry and racist threats against the president of American River College. Harvard University has vowed to spend $100 million to research and try to atone for its ties to slavery. A newly released report found that the Ivy League University's faculty, staff, and leaders enslaved more than 70 black and Native American people from its founding in 1636 to 1783. It stops short of recommending representation. Oklahoma's governor has signed a bill prohibiting the use of non-binary gender markers on state birth certificates. Experts say most states only offer male or female gender options. Oklahoma is the first to write it into state law. In a first for a major American airline, Delta says it will start paying flight attendants during the time that passengers are boarding. Flight attendants generally don't get paid by the hour until doors close. The rule takes effect in June. A stranded eaglet that fell out of its nest on Catalina Island has been rescued and it was all caught on camera. The rescuers put him back in his nest with a few extra branches for safety. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.